nth term of the sequence, Grade D GCSE Level 6 National Curriculum. So we're starting out with a sequence where we're given the nth term and we've got to work out the first two terms. Now N is the variable that stands for the position in the term. So when N equals 1, that's the first term. So that's going to be 3 times 1 plus 1, which is 3 plus 1, which is 4. When n equals 2, that's the second term. So n times uh, 3 times 2 plus 1 is going to be 7 plus 1 equals 7. So our first two terms are 4 and 7. And then from there, we could continue it just by adding on 3 each time because the 3n tells you what you're adding on. Um, we added on 3, then we go 10, 13, and so on. Now that leads you in, gives you an idea what nth terms are, so it's got a bit of a helping hand to the second part. The first four terms are given here, so when we're looking at sequences, we look at the differences. So this is going up the same number each time, it's going up by 4. So that means it's based on 4n, or the 4 times table. So if I write the 4 times table down here, you'll clearly see that from there, we need to subtract 3, subtract 3, and subtract 3. So it's the 4n sequence minus 3, so it's 4n take away 3. And that's typically for these linear sequences where the number goes up by the same each time. You look at to see what it goes up by. That's what the n term is. So if it goes up by 4, it's 4n. And then we add or subtract a number to get from that, that times table to these numbers. So our answer is going to be 4n minus 3. Um, we're looking, we get one mark if we had the 4n and then this bit was wrong, we'll just had 4n on its own. Um, and be careful not to write anything extra in here, we don't put n equals or anything else, it's just 4n minus 3.